Thailand, as known as a land of smile, and it is located in Southeast Asia and is one of the Asian summit. Thailand has six regions with 77 provinces, which lead to several dialects. For example, these four dialects are considered to be the major dialects of Thailand. However, Middle Thai language or Central Thai language is an official language. If you have been to Thailand already, you might have noticed that there are a huge number of temples because Buddhism is the major religion. But there are also a medium number of any other religions as well. The dynasty system is another important thing that you have to know because it plays a crucial role in Thailand. As we respect the king as a divine right of kings with absolute monarchy system which sometimes call paternalism. And the last thing that I would like to let you know is Thai baht is an official currency but US dollar is also acceptable but only in the touristic area. Thai vs English The first one, there is no variant or plural form of nouns. So, in English, there are two types of nouns which are countable noun and uncountable noun. But in Thai language, there is only one kind of noun which is a countable noun. Like the example, in English, if there are more than one object as a noun, then S will be added right behind the word to make it become plural form. But in Thai language, the only difference between that is a dog and two dogs is just the quantity, while the rest of the sentence remains the same. The second is, in Thai language, adjectives always follow the nouns. For example, in English, you say, a beautiful woman. Beautiful is an adjective describing the word woman, which is a head noun. But in Thai language, instead of saying beautiful woman, we say, a woman beautiful, which is in Thai is, Pu Ying Suai. You can see that in Thai version, the head now comes before the adjective in, and it is always like this. There are some example sentences that adjectives follow the nouns. Words written in green are adjectives and words written in black color are the head now. The first one, delicious food. In Thai, we say Ahan Aroy. Ahan Aroy. Ahan means the food, and Aroy is an adjective, means delicious. The second one, handsome guy. In Thai, we say Pu Chai Lo. Pu Chai Lo. Pu Chai means a guy or a man, and then Lo is an, is an adjective, means handsome. The third one, comfortable atmosphere. Banyagat sabai. Banyagat sabai. Banyagat means an atmosphere. And then sabai means comfortable. The next one, lazy girl. Lazy girl. In Thai, we say, Dek pu ying ki kiat. Dek pu ying ki kiat. Dek pu ying is a head now, means a girl. And then ki kiat is an adjective means lazy. And the last one, expensive hat. In Thai, we say muak pang. Muak pang. Muak is a head now, means a hat. And pang is an adjective, means expensive. The third one is there is no verb conjugation at all. And then you might have a question. So, how can we understand each other? The answer is, we understand each other by the context of the sentence and the adverbs of time. For example, in this table, there are a few examples for you. The first one, I walk to school every day. I walk to school every day. 
This sentence is a present simple. In Thai, we say, ฉันเดินไปโรงเรียนทุกวันฉันเดินไปโรงเรียนทุกวัน And then the second one we are going to talk about in the past. I walked to school yesterday. I walked to school yesterday. In English, verb to walk has to be changed by adding ed to make it becomes past tense, and also make it related to the word yesterday. But as I told you, there is no verb conjugation in Thai language, so the only word yesterday makes the sentence becomes past tense already. So there is no need to change any verb form. So in Thai, we say, ฉันเดินไปโรงเรียนเมื่อวานฉันเดินไปโรงเรียนเมื่อวาน And the last one is a continuous sentence. I was walking to school this morning. I was walking to school this morning. For this sentence in Thai, you have to add another word that makes the sentence becomes a continuous sentence before the verb. That word is กำลัง So, ฉันกำลังเดินไปโรงเรียนเช้านี้ฉันกำลังเดินไปโรงเรียนเช้านี้ The fourth one is there are no articles in Thai language. So instead of using articles, they are replaced by something different called a classifier or a unit word. Classifier or a unit word is the word that can even make an uncountable noun becomes a countable noun. For example, in English, it would be a glass of water. In this case, a glass is a classifier. And a classifier is always used as a combination with these ten modifiers or possessive adjectives. And remember that each thing has its own classifier. And even though there are some things that share the same classifier, the question is: What about if you can't understand the classifier correctly? The answer is: It doesn't matter unless you get it right. Then it's understandable. Everything should be okay. Here are some examples. The first one is a house. A house in Thai is บ้านหลังหนึ่งบ้านหลังหนึ่งหลังคือ the classifier for a house. The second one, an egg. An egg. In Thai, is ไข่ฟองหนึ่งไข่ฟองหนึ่งฟองคือ the classifier for an egg. And the last one, the horse. The horse. In Thai, is ม้าตัวหนึ่งม้าตัวหนึ่งตัว is the classifier for an animal. The fifth one is when the subject is obvious, it can be omitted. From the conversation, for example, between these two people who are talking to each other, when they are answer to each other, they don't have to mention themselves again because it's obvious that they are talking to each other. So the first one, how are you? How are you in Thai? We say, คุณสบายดีไหมคุณสบายดีไหม But you can omit the subject, which is. คุณ means you. So instead of saying คุณสบายดีไหม you can just say สบายดีไหม because it's obvious that you are talking with your friends or whoever. And when you answer I'm fine, I'm fine. In Thai, the correct way to say is ฉันสบายดีฉันสบายดี But because it's obvious that you are talking about yourself, so you can omit the word ฉัน which means I. So you can just say สบายดีสบายดี And the last one, Thai is the tonal language. So there are five tones with four different tone marks. The tones comprise of middle tone, low tone. Falling tone, high tone, and rising tone. 
and different tone leads to different meaning but we are going to learn more detail about it later and that's for the first video so i see you again in basic knowledge of thai language number two stay tuned สวัสดีค่ะ